Welcome back to Grade 12 Mathematical Literacy. We are working with the travel timetables today and this is found on page 20 of your book, your textbook. Let's have a look at the train timetable. You need to understand what information has been given to you. So number one refers to Cape Town, Belleville, Strand, Wellington. That is where the train will stop Number two shows you the days that these trains are operational, so Mondays to Fridays during the week. It will then tell you in Cape Town it departs from platform number 19923 and so on. Each train has a specific number, so that train leaving from platform 9 is train 3511 and it departs from Cape Town at the time indicated here. These, these are the towns at which each of the trains stop and we read this timetable going vertically down. So the train doesn't stop at Aster Plot, but it will stop at Woodstock and it leaves Woodstock at 7.43. So these times are the departure times from the stations listed on the left. The train gets to Belleville and then at Belleville, which is obviously another big station, the trains depart from platform number again. So you have various platform numbers from those for those trains. Belleville D will depart at that time. And so we read on and here are the rest of the departure times. Okay, let's look at example one. A person wants to travel from Cape Town to Goodwood should use the timetable as follows. Right, step one, find the train that arrives at Goodwood by 8.30. He has to be there by 8.30. So arrival time in Goodwood, 8.02, 8.12, 8.27. So 8.27 is before 8.30. We could use that train. The next step is to decide what train this is and if we have a look we've found the time there. We move to the top that is train 2513 and the next thing we have to determine is the platform. So the platform is platform number nine. So first of all, you just you have to see what time you need to arrive. You then look for the train number. You then look for the platform number. This is a diagrammatic representation of the way in which the trains work. So let's look in more detail. Here it gives you the airport and all sorts of other markings on the map. You can see there are different routes. The red route is the southern suburbs line. The brown or aubergine route is the Cape Flats line. Blue is the central line. Now you can see there's a central line going like that. There's a central line going like that and even down this way. And so on. Okay, if we had to look back at the map, you would see that there are five routes. Two business express routes. So let's have a look at that. Let's look for the business express routes. Business express routes with these marked with the orange dots. Business express because you can see the train departs from there. That is the first stop the second stop, third stop. So in other words, express, it's the FOSS train and it stops at fewer stations. Why do we need a timetable and a map? Okay, they each provide useful information. The timetable shows the, the arrival and departure times. So for example, here, arrival and departure times. And of course, the map would show you the journey. Okay, the map shows the, the picture of a station sequence, the distance between stations, and the travel route. Right, if we look at this, train 
three four double ones journey it starts at 8 13 in cape town so it starts at 8 13 so we looked for three four double one departs from platform eight at 8 13. there are times for all the stops so a plot doesn't stop at eight a plot goes straight past there are times for all the stops until we get to Easter river okay and it reaches Easter river at eight minutes past nine there are no times for the next two stops meaning it doesn't stop there seven minutes later so from 908 to 915 seven minutes later there is a time which means that it will go to Lindach then Stellenbosch, then Mulder's Flay, meaning that the train takes the left line after Easter River and its destination is only as far as Mulder's Flay. Now let's have a look on the bigger map. Okay, we need to find... Here's Lindock. Okay, Mulder's Flay is over here. It's actually quite difficult to see and it requires a lot of concentration for you to find the correct lines. Let's look at the fair timetable. Well, the fair timetable looks like this. So Cape Town to Belleville. The price of a single ticket will be 9 Rand 90. Belleville 2, so you get to Belleville. Then from Belleville you go to Easter River or Easter River. The price of a single ticket would be 9 Rand. So let's have a look here. From Belleville, so we go from Cape Town to Belleville. From Belleville to Mulder's Flay will be 11 Rand. And number three, from Cape Town to Mulder's Flay would be 17 Rand. So you could get off a train. You see, it was calculated like this. From there to there is 17 Rand. You don't, you don't pay to go from Cape Town to Belleville and then Belleville to Mulder's Flay. You can go directly from Belleville to Mulder's Flay. Okay, you need to know the following for when you do your exercise. You can buy a return ticket even if you get off along the way and continue your journey later that day. That was note one. Note two, you can break the journey on a single return ticket. Your work for today is Activity 1 on page 28, Chapter 1. That's all for today. Thank you.